Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a singles reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a message from my guides, okay? So this reading will not be like anybody else's. This is for somebody, I don't know who, it's not going to resonate with every single person. So this is for singles. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we got for singles? This is for Pisces, and we're going to get one of these. I'm going to either until it falls out or I decide to flip it, and then we're going to see what's on the bottom for overall energy. This is single, so it's in regards to love, okay? And then we're going to use this deck right here. What do we have for Pisces? Hmm. There we go, Pisces. There we go. Now we're going to see what's on the bottom here in a minute. Release your ex. Release your ex, Pisces. <laughs> the time has come to clear your energy. For real. Absolutely. Somebody needs to be released. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. Obviously, the ex is not the one. This is this ex could be anybody. You know who it is. You know who you need to release. And you can say that you have released them till you are blue in the face. But the energies don't lie. You can try to escape. But there's some things that you have to you have to realize, you have to deal with. Anyway, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Maybe you need to go have some fun. Maybe you need to spend some time alone with the one that you can actually grow with. Maybe you are going to be taking a little vacation in the near future with somebody, getting to know somebody. Release your ex. You got something better. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Somebody needs to be released. And I can see that you've been struggling. Look at, look at this. I mean, look at her. Somebody has been struggling to release. This is the death of an idea. The Four of Swords, that's what this is. That is the meaning of the card. It is. This is a dead end. It's time to take a break. It's time to go within. It's time to relax. It's time to refocus. It's, it's a time of solitude. It's time for you to heal. Ten of Cups. Ooh. Ooh, so this is this is a the star reverse. That's kind of like despair. It's like there's a there's no hope. There's lack of healing, and healing is needed. So you may need to take a break to heal. You maybe you just separated from somebody. Probably maybe it's your most recent ex. That's what I think it is. I think it's your most recent love affair. You probably had a relationship with somebody that didn't inspire you. It may have stolen your energy. You know, this is letting go of the need to control. You've been there's somebody that has been trying to control. This is anger, the emperor reverse, and this is somebody who is very very controlling. This is a tyrant. This is like a narcissist. 
There's no hope for renewal. Okay? Wow, this is beginning to realize this Five of Swords reversed, which I hate. I hate the Five of Swords. It's my worst card. This is a, this is, you know, this is letting go of ego. I just want happiness. And this is happiness. So it's time. It's time to let go of something. This is the death of an idea that has been plaguing you. You know, this is, this is ego. This is ego. This is a narcissist card as well. We have somebody who may have narcissistic personality disorder who wanted to control to a point where, you know, they were wanting to prove a point. You got to let go of that idea that you got to prove something to find happiness because, <laughs> and this is realizing I don't have anything to prove. I just want happiness now. There's nothing left to prove. Letting the ego go to be happy. So I feel like there's some sort of happiness that is waiting for you, but you may be losing hope because somebody has been clinging to control, really, 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 really trying to control an outcome, trying to prove something as well. Maybe there's society is involved. You know, I got to prove everything to society you know, that I wasn't wrong, that I'm the master, that I'm the boss. Proving that you're the boss. <laughs> Is not going to bring happiness. So anyway, Pisces, and this could go vice versa. You could be dealing with somebody that you need to release that was very bossy, very controlling, very um, angry. You could have been dealing with a narcissist, Pisces. I don't know. But this is for singles. This is letting go of control. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy now. I don't want to be controlled. I'm going to go with the flow. Oh my God. Wow. Mastering your emotions. Now this, this devil reversed is taking back control of your life, breaking free freedom. You guys are becoming free. I think that you have just become free or you've got that new mindset, letting go of the idea of what happiness this is a change in thoughts there's a change in ideas of what happiness really is there may have been ad addictions in the way or obsessions or the need or ego 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 so ego has been getting in the way of wish fulfillment here but this is moving in a new direction mastering your remote emotions oh my god this is major by the way this is major change coming for you, Pisces. Major. Because, you, you, okay, there's, you know, in the deck, a lot of, some people don't understand tarot, but there's, there's, there's majors. There's 21 majors. And the rest of them, which is like, what, 51 or something like that. Anyway, minor cards. Major, 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 major. This is major. You guys are about to experience some sort of major transformation in your life. Something is coming to the surface that has been hidden. There's no more lies. There's no more deception. You can't hide the truth anymore. There's, there's no more secrets here. It's like the truth comes out about what where happiness is. So, you know, this is for singles. I feel as though you guys are breaking free from an unhealthy situation that has kept you bound. And I think it's recent. I think this is a recent person in your life. And it's like somebody's been trying to escape reality with addictions and drugs. But that hasn't made them happy either. It's a lose-lose situation. This is moving in a new direction. You may be moving. You may be actually traveling, Pisces. You may be moving to a better place, you know, moving. Or somebody may be moving out. Um, this is taking this driver's seat. I see you guys getting in the driver's seat. Literally taking back control of your life. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is a lack of planning. Um, there could be a loss of income. There could be, um, you didn't expect this. Something is being 
uh, coming to an ha a halt. Something is coming to a halt. Something that you may have thought was going to lead to stability or the, that you thought was stable really wasn't stable. It didn't make somebody happy. You know, I fe this is for singles. I feel as though a lot of you need to really find your strength to release somebody. You really need to find your, your mental strength to release your some, to release somebody. Okay? You do. And you can't try to escape reality anymore. I feel like we have we definitely have somebody here that has a huge ego. I can't make that up. And there's no happiness there. There's no happiness. There's no wish fulfillment. There's there's no is it there's despair. There's sadness there's it's like this isn't there's no growth there's no rebirth here there's there's something that you need to release and I can't make that up I can't change it it's true this is what we got here is there new love coming in no you need to take a break you need to heal you need to take a break you need to work on these control issues you need to work on you know Figuring out what happiness is to you. You know, you need to take back control of your life. This is breaking that chain. Breaking free from addictions. Breaking free from escapism. <laughs> so Pisces, I feel like there's this is not the happiest time. And I'm not going to pretend that it is. I'm not. I don't care who likes me. It's not the happiest time because... You guys have, I think that you, this is breaking that bond. This is, you know, cutting that cord with somebody that you are still connected to that doesn't serve your higher purpose. And I feel like you are connected to this person be, out of ego, out of pride. I can't make this shit up. You need to let go of the idea that you need to prove a point it's not about proving a point anymore. It's about happiness. It's about fulfilling your needs. It's about your heart. You don't have to prove to your friends. You don't have to prove to society that you were right. That you didn't do anything wrong. There's an opportunity for happiness here. But this is the end. It's the end. Tens are completions. It's the end of a relationship. It's the completion of a relationship that, you know, was a lose-lose situation. It was based on uh, secrets. It was based on deception. It was based on uh, lust. It was based on try ego. I see you guys moving. I see you guys moving. Or somebody is moving. Somebody could be moving out of the home. I see that you guys are putting yourself in the driver's seat and you're going someplace. You are going someplace. Um, maybe you're going... This is speaking the truth. This is very truthful. The moon reversed. This is the truth coming out about an unhealthy situation that has ended. So there, there's going to be... I think that there's some sort of need to release completely... Sever that cord with whoever this person is that was unhealthy for you. The cord has not been severed. And I see that this is what this week is about. It's about severing that tie that has kept you bound, that has kept you stuck, that has kept you unhappy in a state of despair. This is a completion of an unhealthy situation that can no longer be hidden. It's time to be dealt with. It's time to be accepted. This is major. It's major change. It's universally guided. The, when you see get all these majors, the universe is in control. The universe is going to help you to sever ties with somebody that is not meant to be in your life. It's a dead end. And it was based on pride, ego, lust, 
trying to prove a point. This is taking back control and this is taking back control. This is you guys taking back control. Taking ownership. No longer trying to escape. No longer trying to hide. Accepting. I feel like there is some sort of release that is happening. For real. Somebody hasn't gotten real, but this is reality check. So this is the very first card is very prominent. Taking a break. So singles, what's coming towards you? I see you guys mastering your emotions and taking back control of your life. I don't see somebody rushing in to sweep you off your feet because I think I think that you need to heal. Okay? There's lack of healing here. There's lack of healing here. Healing is needed. You need to heal from a relationship that has ended. For real. For real. People have tried to escape the healing process. That's what they try to do, right? I'm going to prove a point. I can have anybody right here. That's ego. I don't need to heal. Well, fuck that shit. You do need to heal. When you get into rebounds, they don't work out. This is a time of healing. And that's what I got. That's what I got. I can't. I'm not going to pretend that somebody is going to rush in when it is a time to heal. From some sort of abuse. Whether it's drug abuse or it's narcissistic abuse or it's controlling abuse or whatever. Or it's a loss. It's, it's a healing time. And that's all there is to it. Good luck.